Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Monday, May 11th, and today is Pioneer. And I'm going to kind of switch things up a little bit. I've been walking through talking about every single deck in, in the dumps. And what I think I want to do now is start looking at the spicy stuff, the new stuff, the, the new approaches, as opposed to looking at every single deck as we go through. So I'll kind of get some highlights of what the overall dump looked like uh and then you know who got the five o's what you know what companion showed up things like that and then we'll look at a handful of interesting decks from each dump so today we have 34 decks in today's dump a relatively high number it's kind of good to see um 14 of them were yorion and three of those were actually niv mizzet reborn decks three different builds of that uh interesting to see there two of them had all five triumphs so they're definitely not shying away from the tap lands um seven Lurus decks and then a couple obosh one mono red one mono black the gyruda clones deck was there uh gigantha bant spirits was there and the zerda just guy cycling deck showed up as well uh, but I want to highlight a few interesting decks here. Uh, let's start with Angelic Executions 5.0. This is a very interesting... Red, white, Thalia's Lancer's legendary deck, almost. Um, it's red, white, mid-range. But we've got a, an interesting collection of approaches to things. We've got Chain to the Rocks for removal, Deafening Clarion, and well, and Perforos's intervention is is kind of an interesting um, split card. You know, it's either removal or it's you know more threats. Clarion to uh, clean up the board before your big stuff comes around. A bunch of Planeswalkers of various types, including four Gideon of the Trials. And then some uh, protection sort of um, creature, you know, threat density here. Th Thalia's Lancers to go find something. So it can find any of the walkers or it can find Hakdos. Hakdos is interesting on its own here. Uh, this is this is a clever deck. I'm, I'm impressed with what I see here. And I don't know how... Uh, widespread this will become but here's an interesting one for you to try on this uh, red white and mid-range approach to things i thought that was a good one uh chatoon down here where are we right here uh, i wanted to highlight this one because this is a yorion bant quote control deck but it's more of a mid-range 16 creatures in the deck normally you'll just see about six in fact, the next list had just five. It had Uro and one Dream Trawler. Um, but this one's got Nissas and Seda Wayfinders and Thraben Inspectors and Coursers. And definitely a little bit more proactive uh, of a plan in this deck. Uh, so I thought that was an interesting tweak on the Bant Yorion approach. Uh, Antiparetic had a. So, we this is the Jeskai Luka Fires deck from Standard, ported into Pioneer. And the interesting thing to note here is pretty much the only cards in this, outside of the mana base, that aren't in Standard right now. I guess Baffling End's not, but Supreme Verdict... And Gideon of the Trials. Pretty much the entire rest of the deck is a standard deck. Uh, then you get into the sideboard and, and things like that that aren't. Uh, you know, there's definitely non-standard cards in there. Things you can search up with Karn Great Creator. But this is an interesting um, upport of the Jeskai Luka Fires deck into Pioneer. And, I mean, it's strong. Start stealing stuff on, you know, probably turn five. Karn is its own threat. Um, and then you've got, you know, your various control style uh, planeswalkers 
to manage the game. So something to watch there. Uh, that deck has been a terrorizing standard. So let's see what it does in Pioneer. Uh, the next one, MF Muller. Here with Luris Jund. And I just wanted to highlight this uh, first real Deathrite Shaman deck I've seen. Uh, this is in the definite spirit of modern Jund. And if you like that playstyle, you know, and, and where Luris Jund has gone in modern, if you like that playstyle, take a look at this deck. Um, it might be right up your alley. I don't know how effective it is in the overall Pioneer metagame. You know, it's just the uh, this 150, but uh, definitely something to take a look at there. And the last deck I wanted to look at here is Hugo Manite, Hugio Manite, something like that. Uh, we've seen Mono White Splashing Blue or Azorius Devotion. Uh, we've seen that Yorion deck do relatively well, and it's one of the top decks in the metagame. This is the same idea, except instead of splashing blue, they're splashing black. And they're splashing black for Kaya and Trial of Ambition. And love it, right? I, let, let's let's take this idea of a mono-white devotion deck that splashes something, and let's try other colors. And black is a natural one for removal, and uh, especially the Trial of Ambition and the Sacrifice effects, being able to blink that with Yorion is a big deal. Uh, being able to blink Kaya can help a lot. Um, so if you like the mono white devotion shell and you're looking for ways to spice it up, you know, take a look at this one. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if anyone tries a red splash or a green splash. I would expect the red splash. I, I, let me say it this way. I would expect the green splash to be the least effective because I don't think green would bring anything to the table that white isn't already doing. Um, blue is there for the control aspects in in the primary deck uh, or the, um, the disruptive aspects. That's also what black can give you. Red can also give you disruption in some ways, uh, mostly to the board, but also a little bit of extra reach. Green isn't really going to do anything like that, so I don't know if this shell can expand into green effectively. But uh, yeah, here's here's a black one for you to uh, to try out. And that's about it that I wanted to cover today. Um, do wanted to mention Soul Flyer Soul Flare surprise made a uh, a resurgence here, showed back up again. Uh, all your expected hits arrived. Uh, Demir Inverter was here in, a, in the Yorion aspect. Lotus Breach, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, it, Yorion has overtaken Loris uh, by far as the primary companion of choice in Pioneer. We'll see what happens in other formats. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please hit like and subscribe, that notification bell, so you know when my next video is coming up. And I will be back tomorrow with Modern. Let me know. Do you like, you like this new format? And It's a lot shorter. Uh, it probably does what you guys are looking for a little better in highlighting the new stuff and the fresh approaches to things. And I think that's all, you know, that's what we're really looking for here is what, what new... Uh, angles are people bringing to these metagames. Uh, that's about it. Let me know what you think, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe, have fun, and sling some cardboard. Bye-bye.